happy they did this because it puts uh, to the public face the brutality that some of these people do. And once again, I'm not saying all officers are bad. I'll even give NYPD, uh, you know, my personal testimony. When I went to New York for the Super Bowl, I spent a lot of time in Times Square. And the police officers I encountered were very friendly. I had no issue with them. They didn't harass me. We even met a NYPD officer who was a listener. He just walked by. Hey, he saw our, our microphone. He walked by, said, hey, hi. I like you guys' show. I like Alex. And, you know, tell him I said hi. And that was it. You know, I personally have not had a negative instance with the NYPD. But then again, we have the stories of the 85-year-old man beaten up by the NYPD for jaywalking. We have the stop and frisk fiascos going on. I guess they're still doing those in the state of New York. So there's plenty of bad things going on, but you know, I try to give credit when credit is due and I have had no issue with the NYPD, so I'll put that out there so everybody knows it. And our last story for the night, we have this. Texas second grader says teacher took away her Bible because you can't have people uh, exercising their freedom of religion in the occupied states of America. Uh, so they have story time. You know, in story time, you can do whatever you want. You can bring in books uh, like Harry Potter full of witchcraft. You can bring in all types of other things. But lo and behold, you bring in uh, the word and testament of Jesus Christ, and people have a problem with that. And you can go to the, uh, to the video and watch a parent saying, you shouldn't have children forcing religion on other children. She's not forcing religion on anybody. She's reading her Bible silently at her desk during story time, but you, you can't have that. And people are criticizing the parents saying, why don't they go to the administrators? Why did the teacher take the Bible in the first place? Regardless if you agree with how the parents acted, let's talk about what the teacher did. Taking away somebody's Bible is completely ridiculous. It should not happen in a place where we have freedom of religion. That's to check other people, not to check the students themselves. Please do not forget that. All right, and one thing that you should not forget is PrisonPlanet.tv. You can get yourself a 15-day free trial. You can get the Alex Jones Show, the nightly news, the special reports, the rants, and so much more at PrisonPlanet.tv. Now, coming up after this break, we'll have a special report from Alex Jones. He's going to respond to some of the more recent accusations from MSNBC. You don't want to miss that. And also one of our new reporters, Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs. He went out on the streets today and did his first Man on the Street special report talking to people about the Constitution, so you don't want to miss that either. So stay tuned for both those reports right after this on InfoWars Nightly News. Let's go to the first five minutes of the report because it's some of the most incendiary rhetoric ever out of the White House run MSNBC. Good evening from New York. I'm Chris Hayes. The standoff between Nevada rancher Cliven Bundy and the federal government is not over yet. Bundy still refuses to pay the million dollars. You ran everybody out of business with those fees. The federal government. And now, after an aborted attempt by the Bureau federal of Federal judge Magistrate ruled it was designed to bankrupt Powell, everyone. Bundy tells conspiracy theorist and radio host Alex Jones. Anyone that, that questions them for a civil is war, a conspiracy theorist. He is, quote, not in a negotiating mood. We're not going to negotiate with big government. We're not going to negotiate with BLM. We're only going to back up and, and strengthen our county sheriff and hope he does his job. Keep in mind, the county sheriff's job, according to Clive and Bundy, involves disarming federal agents. Yeah, they never let feds On in Friday, before, 20 years ago. An interview with Nevada State Assemblywoman Michelle Fiore, who was attending a celebratory barbecue near the Bundy Ranch, and who came on this show to express her solidarity with the Clive and B Bundy family and his armed supporters. Do you recognize the authority of the federal government? Oh, I recognize the authority that uh, they they believe that they have. I just question it. Don't I come here with guns and expect I, the American what? people not to fire back. Well, it might su not surprise you to hear that that hey, kind pause. of talk from an evaluation. It's not fair. We come and taser people and point guns and say we're going to kill them and beat people up and put them in free speech pens for no reason and act like goons in North Korea. And they're saying they might stand up against us. That's not right. We're supposed to be able to do like we did in Russia and just walk around kicking everybody's brains out while they sit in the fetal position. This isn't fair. Why, I was trained by the CIA, like Rachel Maddow and... And, and Anderson Cooper to run game on the slaves, but they're not listening to me. I'm a chicken neck little coward. That's why I joined the CIA, he says. Let's go back to him. A state legislator you probably never heard of until Friday night. It's something of a game changer when Nevada Republican United States Senator starts chiming in. That's right. What uh, Senator Reed may call domestic terrorists, I call patriots. Nevada's Republican Senator Dean Heller believes the Bundy Ranch supporters are patriots. He's talking about the hundreds of militia members and states' rights activists who stood with Nevada rancher Cliven Bundy and against the federal government. Heller says these men and women 
our patriots. So does the website InfoWars, a paranoid online haven run by Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist whose stories often make their way from his website InfoWars, where on any day you can find headlines about vaccines, mass fluoridation, and the 9-11 cover-up, into the so-called mainstream GOP establishment. Alex Jones was a champion of Clive and Bundy from the very beginning. Because he's saying he'll do whatever he has to uh, to not be, uh, you, you know, have his grazing rights stolen. Uh, Notice they're pirates. playing cuckoo George bird music. elevated the story, and it made its way onto Fox News' airwaves. Next thing you know, so-called mainstream Republicans are calling people like this patriots. What uh, Senator Reid may call domestic terrorists, I call patriots. But the Alex Jonesification of the GOP is much bigger than the Bundy Ranch. Take Greg Brannon, Tea Party Republican candidate uh, that's for enough. Senate in North Carolina. Look, look, the whole thing's up on InfoWars.com. We're sick of being pushed around. We're sick of being treated like slaves. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple, dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Many anthropologists and archaeologists believe that before man even discovered uh, the power to harness and use fire, we were involved in agrarian activities. That is, taking the seeds of plants and then replanting them to produce more. The very foundation of our modern civilization and human culture is centered around the planting and cultivation of edible plants. Here are some of the amazing deals at InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. The Survival Seed Vault by My Patriot Supply features only the finest survival heirloom seeds for a robust and hardy garden, even in the toughest times. We also have starter varieties of the deluxe seed packages for fruit, salad, salsa, peppers, medical herbs, and more. Go to the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing. I'm Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs with InfoWars, and today we decided to come out to the University of Texas, Austin, and ask the people a few questions about our Constitution and whether or not it's outdated. I think the ideas behind it and what really was meant for it is not. I think that some, some of the vernacular and some of the hardcore ideas that some people think it represents, it is, but it was originally designed to be updated as the country grew. It follows the Magna Carta, you know? Come on, man outdated piece of paper. No, you liberal college professors, no! It is not an outdated piece of document. According to a recent poll, 59% of Americans agree that the Constitution is outdated. Do you believe it's an outdated document? Uh, yes, I believe it's outdated and kind of misinterpreted based on lobbyists and how they want to interpret it. I haven't really thought about it. I think it should be modernized. I think we shouldn't follow a book that was written in the 19th century, like, or 17th, 18th century, so. Okay, so if you could make any kind of changes to it, what would they be? Um, specifically gun laws. Um, How think, so with that? I think our gun laws should be, like, more tightened and controlled. I think it was written for a time that everyone walked around with guns and stuff, 
And right now we have police patrolling and government here to protect us. I'd say that's probably true. It, um, I mean, especially for those that read it, you know, as for what it is, what's written on the paper, you know, it allows for very little flexibility and, well, I mean, to a degree, but yes, I would say yes. I'm not so sure, but I would say yeah, it's outdated, at least looking at the views on news and everything, so. Recently retired Supreme Court Justice John Paul Stevens said that we should change the Constitution. We should take a lot of the amendments away, get it down to about seven, and then also remove the right to bear arms. Do you think that's a good idea? I do not think that's a good idea. I don't know. We've got to seven rights, like in the Bill of Rights, is that what you were saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got a Bill of Rights that's like our, our, our ten, you know, most important, like fundamental rights. It's, it's not okay to take that away. Um. I think the citizens should always be able to protect themselves from the government in some sort of way. Maybe not guns, but maybe the right to bear arms in political sense, yeah, I agree. Do you think we should just get rid of the Second Amendment altogether or keep it? Is that a good idea? Uh, what's the Second Amendment again? The right to bear arms. Okay, yeah. Is that the gun control one? Yeah, that's the gun control one. Um, I think that's a personal choice because, like, it is um, necessary sometimes to have, like, weapons. <laughs> that's, I mean, I would say that, like, people shouldn't be al allowed to bear arms. Should or shouldn't? Shouldn't. I mean, so you don't think it's good for us to be able to protect ourselves? I mean, it's good, but if the other person doesn't have the weapon, like, he would, like, he can, like, shoot you or anything, right? Um, no, because I think there's certain situations where, I mean, it can be like a good thing and a bad thing, so I don't know if you can totally take it out of the Constitution. It's a little extreme. Criminals don't follow laws, that's why they're criminals, so if we take away the guns from law-abiding citizens, then only the criminals will have them. I mean, you, sh you wouldn't know if he's a criminal, right? Unless he has a gun, you. but then you won't have one, so now you're without one and you're dead. I think that the principles laid down in the Constitution are relevant today. They are, you know, I really don't know the Constitution that well. Well, that's it for this edition of the InfoWars Nightly News. We hope you enjoyed it, and we also hope to see you again back tomorrow night.